Hi everyone. So today we're going to talk about Rudbeckia. This is one form that we have, and you probably have too, or have some form of. These are Rudbeckia hirta, H-I-R-T-A. And they're also called coneflower sometimes, but that's incorrect. These in Texas are oftentimes referred to as black-eyed Susans, perhaps even where you are. There are a lot of variations in the flower. Some of them have pure white petals, some of them have this burgundy along the edge, more or less. Um, some have more conical tops, some flatter tops. They really vary quite a bit. And to me, that's what makes them so interesting. Um, and, of course, the wildlife loves them. They are well-loved by a lot of bees and flies and moths and various different pollinators. But what I want to show you today is their big sister. So, let's leave here and walk over to the other side of the property. So, again, here at about 24 to 36 inches are our black-eyed Susans. Of course, there are some smaller ones here as well. But what I want to show you is their older sister, or cousin perhaps, and that is the Rudbeckia maxima. These are its leaves. Aren't those massive? And if we follow these stalks, They're taller than the fence behind. These can get up to over six feet tall. And this is basically the same plant, just a different member of the family. Can you see how pronounced the cone is of that? Isn't that beautiful? I just love them. And actually this is the only plant, it's several here, but this is the only colony of these that I have on my property. They grow wild all over these parts, but the goats love them. So this one is outside of fenced area where the goats are. There are the goats, a few of them. And uh, that's the only way to keep it alive is for it to be on this side of this fence. So that's where it is, but meet Rudbeckia maxima. Beautiful, isn't it?